What's up guys? Today we are sitting in Miami. I'm pumped. I am happy. Now you guys know when I joined Crypto Banter, there was one vision. How can I teach people to do what I managed to do? And ultimately, yes, I try to show where I think Bitcoin's going, but all I've ever wanted to do was teach you the skill to change your life. Now today we have a very exciting podcast for you. We actually have someone that did sniper school and he's starting to incredibly change his life. He's number one in the Bible training competition. He's managed to make over a hundred thousand dollars in the last few weeks. And now he's sitting here with us right now. David, what's up, brother? What's up, Sheldon? <laughs> uh, so I know it's overwhelming. It's very overwhelming. It's been a, a crazy last two days. Uh, and I think that's the big thing that I, I would love to actually start this with is uh, you met Run in the shop. Ultimately, you're in Miami. You don't really stay from the side. Um, and uh, what was the goal? Was the goal to meet us? We're like, what happened? You met Run. Run all of a sudden spoke to me. He's like, Sheldon, we met the guy that's number one in the training competition. He's done sniper school. He's killing it right now. Um, and he was just so excited. And one thing, just before uh, you do chat, that I saw yesterday, and I want to bring this back to Crypto Banter, bring it back to the channel. I saw Sheldon, run and fred celebrates one person's success like we just won the lottery like hearing this story and hearing how someone has actually used the information we've given and have actually changed their life and put themselves in a whole different boat brought so much excitement back to us uh, and i'm so grateful that you're sitting here right now like you've made our week you've made our day you've made us so happy because uh what we're doing is working and i think that's the big thing um so how did it happen yeah, ultimately, uh, my goal was just to come here. I didn't know what was going to happen with the trading competition. Obviously, you know, a Tesla, uh, some prizes sounded cool. But, you know, at first it seems like, okay, well, you know, hopefully I can get it. Um, so as, as I started to climb through the ranks and uh, as I was watching the show, you know, Rand kept saying, hey, we got a few tickets left for the uh, the conference. And I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. So I made the decision to, to go a couple weeks ago, uh, book the flight and everything. And, and the whole goal was just if I could just meet Crypto Banter, you know, if I could just meet Ran. Um, and I was literally in the chat and Discord like, hey, is there a group? You know, I already registered. Is there some kind of like Crypto Banter Miami group? And so whenever I saw him post the, the party uh, for Thursday night, um, I was like, cool. At least I'm going to be able to go and, 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 you know, weasel my way through and, mm, and try to meet mm. you guys. And, and my whole goal was just to say, Hey, look, I'm, I'm in your competition and, and, uh, you know, I appreciate everything that you guys are doing because, um, I ultimately was because of you guys and your training and your video, your videos, you know, I'd wake up every morning and, and first thing I'm doing, I'm going on YouTube, I'm clicking subscriptions, I'm clicking, you know, did Sheldon put out a video and then, you know, I'll watch that video and then, um, you know, waiting for Rand's video and, and it's, it's all it is, man. It's just, so you guys met in a shop, right? Yeah. So crazy story. Um, got here yesterday and, you know, I thought, cause ultimately uh, my plan was, um, cause I, I run a business back in Houston. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, my, my, I was actually supposed to leave Friday. And, um, so my whole goal was, could I at least participate somewhere in the conference? And so I looked at the, the schedule and it said, uh, Thursday is well only. And I'm like, Oh my God, I didn't get the $10,000 ticket. Like, am I even going to be able to go to this conference? And, and again, my whole goal was just to meet you guys. So, you know, I'm thinking there's a pool, like I'm at this cool hotel, like I should do something. And I forgot my sandals. I'm like, you know what? I need to go shopping and get my sandals. I also forgot my sunglasses. So I'm like, you know what? Uh, going to go buy some new sunglasses. So I get some sunglasses. Um, turns out the Ray-Bans is like five minutes from where I'm staying. So I'm, I'm walking there and I get the Ray-Bans and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go back to the hotel. And I'm, I literally was walking to my hotel and I was like, you know what? I need to get sandals. I just, I forgot. So <laughs> I'm walking and I, I see h and M. I'm walking towards h and M, and then I look to the right and it's literally some, you know, some store I'd never heard of. It's not a popular store, you know, a bunch of feelers, 50% off. So I go in there and I ask the guy, Hey, do you have any you know sandals? He's like, it's in the far back. So, you know, I go there, I see ones that I like. He's, he's getting me the different sizes to make sure it fits. Uh, I'm going to the checkout. And then I look at some socks. I'm like, you know what? Might as well get some socks. The guy's like looking for me, you know, oh, you should get medium. And so he gets me the socks. I'm at the checkout and I'm like, do I hear Rand's voice? I hear this guy <laughs> asking a question. And then, so I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. So then he turns his face, asking the guy a question. 
And I just started feeling like anxiety, like freaking out, like, oh my God, like, cause you guys are celebrities to me. <laughs> and I, I, I went straight to business. I walked right up to Rand. I said, Rand from Crypto Banter. He's like, yes, what's going on, man? I'm like, I'm number one in the competition. And he's like, dude, get out of here. No, you're not. I'm like, dude, I, I really am. I'm being honest. He's like, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. I don't believe it. I show it. So I'm like busting out my phone. I'm showing him. And he's like, holy crap. Hold on a second. Let me tell the guys. And so he's posting in, you know, in the WhatsApp group. And he's like, they don't believe me. We got to make a video. I'm like completely unprepared. So yeah, that's what Ron does. That's what he does. Uh, and so, yeah, even and so after we made the video, I'm even like, hey, we could re-record it because like, you know, it was just like a crazy experience like i never thought this would happen and my whole goal was just thursday night before i leave to hopefully meet him but instead it's like the first day i get here as soon as i get here i meet him dude it's crazy how it's and uh this is why i'm very excited to actually do this podcast is i also just met run just randomly and it was just like how does this stuff play out like you have this vision and you have this thoughts and all of a sudden like it just happens and it's like it just like we ended up spending the night last night you know we ended up like now he's sitting here together and we're like wow like this is incredible so i think now we need to quickly just show the audience because a lot of them are saying oh it's not real all these sort of things so guys personally i'm always going to show privacy and things like that and always take that into big consideration i've already gone through all the trading history i've already gone through everything with him uh, it's legit so what we are going to show you is the actual ranking uh, and the rest is privacy like that that's very important but if you can show the ranking to that camera right so the competition, so what is that? 1,459%. And the competition is 17 days in? I believe so. Dude, that's incredible. Like, do you believe that you made those gains? Um, like, like have, you, have you done it before? So I've done it one time uh, whenever the uh, Bybit competition happened um, back, I guess it was last year. Okay. Um, and how did you do in that one? I got it. Uh, I was actually in the leaderboards as well, um, but made a couple of bad decisions. Uh, okay. Which so where did this trading journey start? When did you start in crypto? What was the whole? Yeah, so back in 2017, uh, before Bitcoin hit 20,000 for the first time, um, had a friend of mine, a mentor in a different business. Um, he's telling me about Bitcoin. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. And so he shows me his account one time, and I think it was like at 60,000. And he said he started with 5,000. And you hear something like that, and I just kind of out of sight, out of the mind, well, hopefully Bitcoin crashes like, he got lucky. And then I started to notice that Bitcoin was going to 10,000, 12,000, 13,000. Maybe some of you guys remember that. Mm -hmm. Got to 20,000. Called him up. What's your account at now? He's like, bro, it's over a million. Oh, wow. And obviously you hear something like that. It's massive FOMO. And I FOMO'd in. I, I, you bought the top. I bought the top. <laughs> you have to. That's I how you do crypto. Like there's no other way. I bought the top and, and uh, you know, it just kept going down, going down. I'm like, he get, you know, he's kind of giving me some secrets. Hey, you know, follow the people on my Twitter. And there's just so much noise out there. And mm -hmm. I was like following everybody, looking at this guy, he's saying this coin, buying this coin, buying this coin. I was just like ignorance on fire, just trying to figure it out. And obviously I bought the top, it started going down. And I, I heard about leverage trading and I just didn't know how it worked or whatever. And um, <clears throat> I ended up getting into leverage trading. In fact, um, I was watching YouTube one time and uh, there was a guy named crypto face mm -hmm. and he had his video on and he was streaming and he was like short Bitcoin cash right now. And so I literally lost almost all of my money and I took, I think it was like $600 and I shorted, I sh it was on, um, BitMEX, I think it was. And I shorted Bitcoin cash I was following him and I turned that 600 into, <clears throat> I think it was $5,000 in like, you know, an hour and 30 minutes for whenever oh, it wow. crashed. And then I was uneducated. You know, I was like 50x leverage. Like, I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. And it bounced and I got wiped. And it was like a sickening experience. But at the same time, it was like, well, maybe I can do this. Eye opening. Because you saw a little bit of the potential. Yes. And then it whipped your ass. But you and, saw the potential. Exactly. Okay. And so from there, I think I got kind of the the hook, the addiction to leverage trading, the, the potential and the possibilities. And um you know from that point forward um you know i started following different leverage traders and who's given the calls i'm sure you guys can relate you know telegram groups you're paying a subscription fees they're telling you hey go long here short here whatever and i was just trying to figure it out and man i was just getting wrecked left and right and you know i would focus on one coin and, and i did have a massive success um 
you know, a few years or two or three years ago, I think I turned 1400 of, uh, XRP into, you know, it took like two or three months, but I, I, I got it all the way up to over a hundred thousand. And, oh, wow. um, okay. You so know, you've done it a few times. You've actually had a little bit of the, what, what do you think is the biggest mistake people make with getting wrecked in the beginning? Was it just following too many people? Was following it? way too many people. Um, you're relying on this one guy, you know, I wasn't relying on my own intuition. I was like, you know, I was just relying on these paid groups. Like, well, I paid this amount, this guy should be right. And then you get wrecked. And what are you going to do? Mm. You, you can't complain to the guy. Cause he's saying, Hey, you use proper risk management, use your stop loss. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. Someone's telling you to put a stop loss. You don't put the stop loss mm -hmm. cause you think it's going to go. And, um, I ended up getting wiped whole, you know, hundred thousand, then completely wiped. And, and you, you, man, it was just, I felt deflated. You know, I felt like, man, like I should have cashed out. I'm sure you guys can relate. Like, man, I, I had it. You wanted to, to quit, bro. It's like, what did they say? It's the depression phase. Yes. Like it's not going to happen. You know, you yes. give up on the dreams. And I remember telling my dad about it. I'm so excited XRP. And then we went to a, a dinner, a dinner one time. And he's like, so how's that XRP going? And I, I, I got wiped and I was just like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not doing too good. And you just, it's, it's embarrassing. And, mm. but there was always that part of me that was like, man, I got to figure this out. There's other people figuring it out. How come I can't figure it out? Mm. And, you know, like years and years of, of getting liquidated and like, you know, well, let me just put a thousand in, let me put 2000 in, let me try this strategy and, and you get wiped again. And, and I would like train myself, well, we'll take a couple weeks off, you know, and, and I would punish myself, like take a week off, take two weeks off. And then I'm not going to do it anymore. And it's like, you know what, let's try one more time. And, and I just kept getting wrecked. And, and so I was at a point where it's like, let me just do spot, like forget this leverage trading. Let me just do spot. Let me try to do this the safe way. And, and that's where I was watching a lot of crypto banter and, and watching Hustlepedia saying, Hey, you know, cause I'm a big gamer and I, and I, I believe in the, the space and, mm -hmm. you know, buying Vulcan forge and things like that. And then you guys had the advertisement of crypto school. And when I first heard that, I'm like, well, how much do I got to pay for this thing? Mm. And the fact that you said, Hey, all you got to do is deposit 250 bucks. I'm like, what is there to lose? Mm. Cause I'm, I'm used to putting a thousand or 2000 and it's like 250 bucks. Like let's go. Mm. So mm. I registered and started, you know, listening to the classes, going through the videos, um, you know, and, and watching these crypto, you know, being in, in the sniper school, simultaneously watching the episodes that you guys put out and just being aware of the market, like having that intuition, um, I just started to see success. You know, there's a lot of things that resonated with me on, on those episodes um, with crypto or sniper school, like your mom, for example, mm -hmm. uh, she was saying, guys, don't give up. It's right around the corner. And I remember I just started my account. It was March 7th and on the Mexi account. And, and you know, you guys, you know, I started, I never did a trading log. So I started doing a trading log, um, which you said. Um, oh, that's the, the journal, though. Yeah, the journal, right? So I started the journal and and then you uh, were saying, there's another thing you said that really resonated to me because for me, it's always like just one coin or two coins. And you're like, guys, you got an army. Like have your, your Solana army. You have your, you mm. know, you have your armies are gonna go out there and hey, they're gonna go out there and they're gonna kill, but they're gonna get killed real fast as well. And I'm like, I can relate with that. And mm. so I've kind of taken a lot of what you guys have trained and, and, and poured into the, the group and just internalized it and started that strategy. And, and, you know, I started to get my account pretty high and I'm like, well, this is where, this is where I usually get wrecked. Mm. This is where I, this is where I usually like lose everything. And yeah, you've been here before you I've keep been getting, here before. maybe I should cash it's like out. a chart, right? Yeah. It's, it's like actually like this accumulation sort of period. Um, so I'm very glad that you took the important things. Like a lot of people focus on the TA and they focus on these sort of things. I'm glad you like the, the army understanding. That some coins are there to do a job. And if you leave them out for too long, they're destructive and they can hurt your account. And, and yeah. you just got to categorize them, right? You got to know what's your top soldiers. Like when you have a top soldier, they can always build an army. And that's like your gold. And I think that was a big one. And then you got your, your commanders under and you got the, the, the rankings. And, uh, you know, then you got the little guys at the bottom, which are very effective, but they're lunatics. Like they go in there, they make you a lot of money, but they also destruct and they can blow up your accounts. So let's jump back into this whole Mexi thing. So you started again in March this year. And what, what, what was that? Did you put in a thousand bucks? Like how was your money before that? Firstly, like, did you have a savings? Like, was this down to like a little bit, like, uh, no, you know, I mean, something was in you, like, let's try this again. Right. 
For sure, yeah. So, so talk about that journey. How, so, how did it go? So with my career path, I mean, I, I'm okay financially. So, you know, there's a saying, don't risk what you can't afford to lose. And I, I strongly agree with that. And for those of you guys that are listening, like, don't pull out your life savings. Don't do anything crazy. Like, don't risk it. Like, risk what you can afford to lose, but also learn from every single trade. Um, but, you know, I got my Mexi account. Uh, I started it with $1,400. So I know... Uh, the video that Rand recorded, it said 400. I, like I said, my mind was racing. It's like I met a celebrity and I make a video mm-hmm. on the spot. It's and overwhelming, I, bro. It's very overwhelming. But the honest, the honest truth is, is it was $1,400. And, you know, I can show this. I'm complete transparency, the deposits and everything like that. 1400 because normally I play with 1000 or $2,000. And it's crazy. I'll tell this story, but I got it all the way up to like 20000 25000 And the unexpected thing happened with the market. And the market will do that. You know, it's mm. designed to confuse you. It's designed to. How work. did you get to the twenty thousand first? Just through some short term trades. Short term like, trades. It what was, was your strategy going into that? So you my just stra- loaded the money now, like. Yes. Yeah, so my. What stra- was the goal? My strategy, like I started making money out of the gates, and it was because I was watching the show. So I'd wake up, I check the charts. So if you guys aren't looking at the Discord charts, I don't know what you guys are doing, but I went on the Discord charts, and I really liked Phantom. I liked the coins that have volatility. And essentially, the coins that we're looking at is just a magnified version of Bitcoin. You guys may have noticed if Bitcoin goes down 1%, Gala goes down 5%, right? If Bitcoin goes up 1%, Phantom goes up 10%, right? So you got to always pay attention to what Bitcoin's doing. So that's one of the things. Where is Bitcoin at? What is Bitcoin doing? And I noticed that Bitcoin was going up. And then on your show, you were talking about Phantom. And I love it. And I was like, okay, cool, Phantom. Let me look at the levels, look at the charts. And so I put in a trade. And one of my strategies is to have a buffer before you get liquidated, right? So when you start a trade, it will say what your liquidation point is. And I'll put that same amount at the liquidation point. So that way it's hard to get liquidated because most of the time, if there's a pullback, it's not going to go 20%. Like you'll have those crazy times like COVID and stuff where Mm -hmm. it goes down 30, 40%. It's just like you have, you know, they come now and then those are just they're rare right they're rare but you got to be prepared for that right so um but that's also part of the risk we're we're dgens we're risk and so um luckily for that trade phantom went i I went 15x with a buffer meaning that essentially i'm at 7x leverage with how i had my positions if it if it wicked down but it never wicked down in fact it freaking rocketed and i i was doing some work i came back to my phone and it was like 130 percent so I'm like, cool. So let me cancel this order that I had at my buffer and let me start so a new a, a trade. So buffer, so basically what does that mean? It means, let's say you got $1,000 to enter a phantom long. Yes. Okay. How much would be in for the position? And then is there another order that's low? Yes. So let's just say the position was open at like 38 cents. My liquidation is at 34 cents. Okay. So I would set another $1,000 order at 34.11. For example, like right, oh, so that they join and make one position, right? Because if it wicks down, and this is on isolated, right? On isolated, I never use cross, okay. yes. right? So when it if it does wick down, it's gonna wick down, and everybody else that didn't have that buffer is gonna get liquidated because that's what they're doing. They're liquidating everybody that went long, but now my entry point has now went down. And now, instead of being completely liquidated, I'm at negative 50%. Yes, yes. And usually yeah, there's a bounce. Smart, actually. Very smart. And there's usually a bounce. And sometimes I'll get that buffer that hits and it'll go down some more and then I'll just add margin. Mm. I'll add margin. And then, you know, like, and you can tell if you're watching the candles, they're trying to liquidate those positions. And there's a there's a group I'm in in Telegram where it's called like Whales Wrecked. And I can see real time, like million dollar positions getting liquidated, 40,000, 60,000. So I'm kind of like always in sync with the market and usually it bounces. And so um, I, I wrote a lot of phantom longs. I think, you know, it was like 200%, 300%. I'd close half. I'd see a dip. Whenever it dips, I'd add a little bit more. Let's start a new salon. Let's start a Solana position. And I started to take your trainings uh, very serious, like the army analogy so let's start a, let's start an avax army let's start a solana army and my phantom's already at 100 percent. let's just let it ride you know and then i would set my stop loss at break even so if the market started to tank then my complete my position's safe and then if my other positions go a little bit negative i can add more mm-hmm. buffer it so it's, like, it's kind of like every coin's kind of working together and then when the market you know we're in a bull market right now so that's the strategy i'm playing it's like i'm betting yes it is a risk but i am betting that it's going to go up. Mm. Yes, there's a dip, 
by the dip. Don't trip. Mm. 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 Say, That's right? very true. And so, from that, you basically rallied to up to 20K, right? That was the first start. That was the first stop. You know, I remember telling my friend, and so for those of you guys that are skeptical, I have a buddy, uh, his name's Billy, back in, uh, we're, we work together and everything. Um, he doesn't do leverage trading too much, but, um, you know, I would tell him a story. He'd always be like, where are you at? Did you get wrecked? Did you get wiped? Because he's used to he- he- hearing me say, mm, yeah, mm, I got wiped, I got man. smashed. <laughs> I'm going to take, take a break. You know, he does it with poker. He, he gets wiped in poker, and I'm like, dude, take a break. So we kind of have each other's back, but... Um, I got it to 20,000. Like, dude, you need to cash out. I'm like, no, like I'm doing, I feel like I'm on a roll right now. Like, you know, and so I, and so what's crazy is that, uh, in the journey of the Mexi account, I, I went down, you know, I took a little bit more of a risk. Um, and Phantom went down to a level on the charts where it was support. And I'm like, it's their support. And where most people would close the position and be like, man, I'll take the loss. I just added to it and I added to it and I took some margin and that, and sure enough, two days. And I had to wait for a day. It's kind of annoying. You're looking at your account, negative 60, negative 40. Come on, let's go. It's a go. scary feeling, bro. Yeah. It's a scary come feeling. Come on, are they going to get me? Like, come on, let's, let's go. And it, it literally phantom went up like 10% the next day. And so my account went to 40,000 at that point, you know, I'm not going to sit there and, and that's what I used to do. Oh, let's just go to the moon. The chart says 80 cent target. Let's just hold it. No, I had to close half the position. And then same thing, just started small positions you know, $5,000 position, $5,000 position with some buffers below where, you know, it was potential support. And, and I, I wrote it, you know, I went to like 70, I went to 80, um, and then it went back down to 60. And then that's whenever they, they mentioned the, the competition. And so I took my Mexi account that I started off with 1400 and then I withdrew $700 to my Bybit account to start the competition. And right away, I caught the market. It's a little bit of luck involved. Like, yes, of course. you yeah, got to be a little bit lucky strategy, but I doubled my, you know, I, I went hundred, I got a hundred percent on my fence. Just short. before you go on there with the luck thing, I think this is a big topic because it's not luck because you have good streaks and you have bad streaks in crypto. You got to have them. Like even now you're on a hot streak. Now in three weeks, you can go through a, 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 a two week, three week, a bad period. But that's the period where it's, it's just basically a chart, right? You want your big waves to be big and your smaller to be smaller. Like, you got to learn to cut and to be like, I suck right now. I'm not trading for a week. Like if you can get that mental control and start to get above like that, that's where it's good. It's not luck. Everyone, like people think it's just luck where you make the money. No, because you're going to probably have five times in a year, you're going to have that good streak. And five times a year, you're also going to have that bad streak. And that's the thing. Like the more you start realizing that it's not luck, that this is the part of the game. I just got to make sure that these parts are better than those parts. And as long as I do that, I keep growing. Uh, yeah, keep going, keep going. Um, no, I'm totally, I totally agree with you there. And um, and so, yeah, I, I doubled my phantom position to 1400. I went to go look at the standings and I saw like the, the lowest, you know, ninth and 10th place was at like 30%. So I got confused. I'm like, how come I'm at 100%? Why, why am I not on the chart? So contact to support, they're like, we'll get back to you. And then... I went on the, the competition thing and I, I'm like, wow, there's a button for register. So uh, I, you never registered. Yeah. Oh, so I took it. Oh, so you started with 700, yes. you doubled it, but you weren't registered. So when you registered, it took the 1,400. So yeah, my as your starting price. Now. Correct. Correct. Ah. So essentially I should be over 2000% on the competition. I mean, I feel like I got lucky, but you know, yes, there's some strategy and there's like intuition. I don't know, but there's like kind of that. a bonus for it. Like, Yes, you would be at 2,000%, but because you started off with 1,400, like you're actually making more money. Yeah, no, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's actually, a, it's a one-one. Okay, yeah. so now you're sitting on top, bro. Like it's, it's, it's crazy how obviously killing it in the competition. Like firstly, well done, bro. Thank like, you. Well done on, on surviving the, the 2017 bear. Well done on getting liquidated 100 times and uh, still like, you know what? Let me take a break. Let me take a break. But still not quitting. I think that's a huge message to everyone else. Uh, and well done on just coming here. All of a sudden, you're sitting with Bantz, we're doing a podcast, we're doing these things. Uh, and I kind of feel that your journey has just begun in something that could be whatever you want it to be. Now, guys, when it comes to these journeys, you know, we spoke about Sniper School and Crypto Bantz and things like that. It's a stage to give people the light that want to help us with the vision of what we're doing. And uh, the fact that you've done it and how you've just crossed paths with us, like, I kind of feel that you can go wherever you want now. Like, do you know 
what your journey is from here. Like, do you have any idea that first you're one of the best traders in the world? Incredible. Like, out of 2,000 traders, you're sitting at number one. Like, you got to give yourself a big pat on the back. Thank you. Um, but I think what also makes it incredibly special is uh, you're also able to to share that with the audience now. Did you think that this was ever a possibility? Where you're sitting here right now, not only as a trader, but now we're in talks and we're doing in podcasts and I want to sit here and be like, I want you to be helping me with Sniper School. I want you to be improving the course. I want you to be sharing what you did so that we can just get many more of these stories because this is such a huge celebration to us. You don't even understand, bro. And I'm sure yesterday has been overwhelming for you. It's overwhelming for us to see us jump around. Like we used to a little bit of fame in the world and like attention from these things. Like you got us sitting like little girls right now, jumping all over the place because we've had someone that's like really doing it. And uh, I only but want to keep sharing that vision um, uh, along these things. And that's why if we can um, make this course better and we can do all these things and then we can get another guy or another woman that's done it and then someone else, eventually we're sitting with a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand people that have managed to change it. Like, are you excited for what could come next? Like, do Definitely. Do you know where it can come next? Now, I know, I, I know I'm chatting a bit, sorry. <laughs> 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 I met Run for a random dinner. I didn't know. Wow. A few days later, I have a show. Two years later now, I'm sitting in Bitcoin, Miami. That's awesome. Like, you've just met us now, and we're seeing potential in you. Like, are you excited to maybe enter a different world? To maybe go into educating? To maybe go into creating content? To sharing what you've just done? I'm totally excited. Yeah. I mean, yesterday it felt like it was not a real, like, like I was dreaming. Um, I was talking to my brother and I'm like, dude, tell me this is real. Like, I feel like this is a dream. And he's like, dude, this is real. We're on the phone right now. Like, I'm like, this is crazy, you know? So it, it takes a little bit to digest. Um, but I think thinking long-term it's, you know, the fact that I, I, I almost gave up so many times and I was resilient and, 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 listening to the show, you know, gave me hope. I mean, it really is you guys that gave me the hope. Um, but then applying it and then seeing the success and, and I'm really nobody special. Like I'm just a guy that heard about crypto and, you know, I lost a lot of money and, and here I am making a lot of money now. And, you know, after accomplishing these things, it, you know, it's like, okay, great. So what's next? Like, it's not about the money. Cause when you have it, it's like, okay, well, what's after that? You know, money is just a tool, as they say, it's just a resource you know, what do you do with the money? Um, and, and so, you know, if I can pay it forward and if I can educate or just give one kind of nugget or, or something that can make a difference in somebody's trading career, I think that would be a good feeling mm. you know, helping somebody out. Money is amazing, but it's the fulfillment of giving back and something that's, that you can never pay for. Like it's, it's the most rewarding thing. And that's the thing, like you're doing it now. And I think the best thing that I can say is I want to help you. As far as you want to go, like I'm with you. Like the it's fact that you've incredible. done it and things like that, like I got your back so much and I think that we can Thank do you. incredible things together. Uh, and we just spoke about it now because it's actually quite funny. Uh, it doesn't have the a crypto Twitter. It doesn't have these things. And a normal guy, not like the, none of these things. And it's like, bro, like maybe do you want to start a Twitter? So firstly, I want to congratulate you on surviving the 2018, getting through the whole period, all the liquidations, all these sort of things uh, and not quitting. I think that was an absolutely massive one. Um, so I want to jump back to sniper school. I think this is a big one. Like for me, it's like, bro, we celebrating this so much right now that we're happy and people need to know this. Um, guys, this is why sniper school was created. It was created to give you guys these different topics. And I think structure, I think that was the big thing. And I actually tried to avoid the TA. I don't know if you noticed that, like I did TA, but I tried to not put a lot of attention within TA. It was more the strategies, more the portfolio, more the mindset more the trading journal, like that's what I really got from it. What would you say for anyone? Because we have the next cohort running right now and in the next few weeks we have the next cohort and we're running it throughout the whole year. What would you say for someone that's looking at Sniper School? And uh, uh, like they maybe want to do it, they're on edge, like should I do it, should it not? Like what did it do for you and what do you think it would do for them? No, I mean just to kind of um, piggyback off what you're saying, um, you know, sniper school is what two hundred fifty dollars at the time. Whenever I I had rolled into it, and I thought that that you get to trade with, yeah, yeah and, yeah, and, yeah. and when you look at most groups out there, they want you to pay a subscription. They want you to pay to enter their group, and I did all that. 
I paid and they're not, they weren't what I thought it was. You know, mm -hmm. you'd still get liquidated or you, it was a bad call and, you know, risk management, whatever. But, you know, what's awesome about your school is that you really break down the basics, basics that I didn't even know about. And, and I'm not much of a TA person. So maybe some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, technical analysis, you got to be like, uh, uh, you know, um, very analytical to really understand it. And, and I do a little bit of TA, but I kind of like reference like your TA and the charts. And there's a couple things that I use in, in my charts, but it's very basic and it's very simple. And I think that's why I really love sniper school is that you keep it super simple mm. when you start overcomplicating things and you start to have to memorize all these different things. And well, I forgot to do this and that it, it, you know, what are the, well, there's a saying confused people do nothing. And then, you know, if, if you're confused, you're probably going to be a little bit fearful. You're going to open a trade. You see it's negative 10. Oh my God, I made a bad decision. You get out and then it goes the way that you were, you know, if you would have just stayed in, you would have made money. And I think sniper school, you know, just a lot of the analogies, the fundamentals, the basics, it's like, if you're going to go to college, you got to go to high school. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that if you guys want to es escalate or uh, elevate your trading and, and your knowledge, like s sniper school is where it's at. Like it's a must. Like I think anybody that I talk to, I, I was even before this even happened, I've always been telling my friends to go to sniper school. Like I can show you text messages of, of friends. I'm saying, go to sniper school, man. Like this is legit. Mm. It's 250 bucks and you're trading with your own money. You're not paying these guys to, to learn. It's like, it's really a blessing honestly, what you guys are doing. It's, it's genius. And I think everybody should do it. Like that means a least. lot, brother, that yeah. it really means a lot. I think that's, uh, I think that's the whole point of it. You know what I mean? Is to, is to give the, the basics. And then the goal is you got to go out into the field. So now that you've done sniper school, like you need the basics, you need to know how the car works in order to drive it guys. You need to know how everything works uh, and you need to pay attention to the small detail. Like we keep paying attention to the big detail, the small detail, like the, the portfolio managing and the soldiers. And like, these are the things that really make you the money. And you can see it different this time. Mm -hmm. um, that's why your streak is going and it could probably go a lot more now because you finally just got that small little tweak. And I think that's the big thing. But what would you say now that you got those basics, what's the best way to start after that now? Because what we've done is we've got the live trading sessions. Uh, once you've done sniper school, you can join the sessions. And I think for us, what we're trying to build there is we're going into university and stuff, but it's to give you just a home that you have the same like-minded people every day that you can just trade with whenever you want to jump on. Um, and uh, what would you say? Like slow down to speed up is my sort of understanding. It took you a year or two of getting destroyed to actually hit the success. The difference this time is you can bring that success at any time now. Like at any moment now, you can spark that up. Isn't that amazing? Like that's that's something like it's crazy. Yeah. You got to be very happy for. Uh, what are the steps after that? Now you get the foundation. Now you get that stuff. What would you say is critical for traders out there to to just do what you've done? Yeah. No. Absolutely. You got the knowledge now. Like yeah. So I I didn't really talk about it, but the live sessions they are key. It is one thing to hear your 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 video, and you know, by the time I watch your video, I mean you're posting it at five in the morning. And I now know that now that we're here and <laughs> it's early, I wake up at seven. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, you know, he's, he's giving his thoughts and, and it's going to be a few hour delay. Um, but when you have the chance to actually be a live set on a live session and, and be there when the trades are actually happening and in real time, Hey guys, I'm looking at this coin. I'm, what do you think about this coin? And like in real time, I'm like looking at, at the coin with you guys, like as if I was next to you guys. And, and I think that's really key is like, being in the moment and, and being able to make that quick decision, like, okay, let's go long. Mm. This is why it makes sense to go long. RSI is reset. Let's go. So I think, yes, it's one thing to, to enroll into sniper school, but if you're, if you're not getting on the live sessions, um, you know, it's like you're missing class. Mm. Um, you know, I think going to all the, the, the live sessions are key. And, and number, number three is, is staying plugged in. Like, don't be that person that, is is kind of putting your one foot in one foot out like yes well, I, well we're in depression phase now people want to quit yeah what do you have to say with that like people want to quit right now when the market's down 85 percent and it's been going down like it's crazy how people think yeah in the no. wrong way yeah and, and you guys you're you're letting the whales win when you think like that because that's what they want you to think let me just quit let me just give up and you know what's going to happen bitcoin's going to go to sixty thousand, hundred thousand. And you're going to be shooting yourself in the foot. You're going to tell all your friends, man, I was there when it was at 20,000. I quit. I gave up. And 
that has to scare you more than what the, the, the possibilities could be, right? Because what is the possibilities? I'm nobody special. You guys can come in here and, and, and slay the trades and, and change your life. Mm. And that's what it's about. It's like, why, is every, why is everyone into crypto? To better their life, to have more opportunities. They're not in crypto for fun. I'm sure every single one of you guys are in crypto to make some money. I think 90% of people are not even in it for the tech. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, but the money. And I appreciate everybody in the tech and the fundamentals there are very important. But, you know, good examples like Pepe, man. Like, and guys, I made a lot of, uh, that's how I got through the rankings. I, I took that short on Pepe. I compounded the heck out of it. And I would have never known about Pepe if it wasn't for crypto banter and ran saying he thinks it's topped out. Like, guys, it's just the, the, the content that crypto banter brings is just, it's incredible. And, you know, I think you got to be able to, you know, like, yes, you may have take, taken some losses. You may have worked years to build up your capital and you lost it all. But just remember that you can make money fast in crypto and it's with a decision. You got to make that decision that, you know what, I took the losses, but that's fine. I'm still here. I'm still alive. I still have, I can still put food on the table wherever you're at and just do the necessary things to make it happen, to see success for yourself. Mm, so, mm, mm. Um, that's well, right. what's the thoughts? Maybe uh, it's in the future. Like maybe you jump on a sniper show. I think that'd be awesome. Another quick thing with sniper school, what was the, the big things you did before? And then once doing sniper school helped after, you know, was there any things in core? Like it, it, did it help you like stop revenge trading a little bit? Or like, did it like, if, if you could just name one or two of the biggest things that you think that it just helped you with? I think right out of the gates, it is embarrassing. This is how much of a non-TA person I am, but I never used the long position tool and I never used the short position tool. The whole oh, the risk to reward. Risk to reward. I never used risk to reward. It was just like, here's the target. This is the call. Like, let hopefully it goes. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like you're hoping and praying that your trade's going to go the way it goes. I normally did one coin, maybe two coins. Um, kind of that all in mentality. Let's just freaking send it but that's going to send you right to getting wrecked. Mm. And the fact that uh, the other major point was when you said that, you know, like the army thing, like I would, that's like the first time I started to really take multiple coin trades and, and, and it made started to make sense because you'd look back at your positions and one of them would would take off and the other two mm. wouldn't take off. Like yeah. now you're holding a uh, Solana, Cardano, they're doing nothing. Render just ripped. I saw the chart this morning. Like it's it's just it's back up there. Lido back up there. Like if you don't learn to move with the time and you just hold one the whole time, uh, you, you're just never gonna catch it. And the issue is that Lido takes off, Render takes off. Maybe you're an Adam and you're like, dude, Adam didn't take off. This sucks. All those guys made money. I should have made money. I'm sitting here. I've been in this trade for two days. And then you like chase Lido or you chase. Yeah, you probably get out of that one and then go yeah. chase the one that's and up. Lido and Lido just took an 8% dump. So if you went 10x leverage, you're like liquidated almost. Like, So diversifying your trades and then being safe with your trades, like, you know. Like, risk to reward. Risk I think to that's reward. the biggest thing. As long yeah. as you, the fact, guys, that you can lose seven out of 10 trades and those three, you're still making profit. Like, Yeah, and it's huge. The, and then like Craig, one of the things that stood, one of the first sessions, I mean, there's a lot of things that stood out. Craig was like, take your profits or somebody else will. That stuck to me. So every time, normally it's like 150%, 160%. I'm like, let's just, let's write it to 300. My mentality completely shifted after. This amazing. Call. It's like, let's close half and then let's, take that profit and then let's let's start some smaller positions with Solana like let me go look at the charts that crypto banter posted okay cool and I would scan through them I'd be like okay avix has support right now like you would literally say guys I'm looking for this right now I set the 618 this is a good spot right now if you guys got in good job on the entry like I'm paying attention to all those things so I'm taking profits and I'm starting new ones new armies essentially and then Amazing. Being safe with it. So what I loved about it is there's so much big things in there, but it was the small things. The small the things. The risk to reward, the little things that are me. And that's all you need. You guys have it in you. Stop thinking that you can't do it. Stop thinking that it can't happen. You have someone sitting here that's just done it in front of your eyes. And he's going to come hope that we can keep sharing. And then when you make your millions, you come on and then you hope. <laughs> and it's just about knowing that you already have it, guys. It's a small little thing that you're probably just missing. And the day that that little thing clicks... Uh, is uh, the day you start to, you know, uh, create big success. And that's the big thing, guys. So remember, we have the cohorts now. I love my shows. I love what I do every day, yes. But school is my everything. And I'm going to work my ass off every single day to keep educating the world. Stop throwing it away. 
Stop destroying your own future by throwing things away. It is free for yourself. You click below, you register to school, and you come join us in class. You make yourself a success. Once you've made yourself a success, you teach the world. You have a purpose. You be humble, and you create something absolutely incredible. David, I'm so proud of you, bro. Thank mm-hmm. you for joining this journey. Thank you. Uh, I think the family, everyone's going to be very excited for where this goes. Um, uh, if there is one last thing for those who want to quit, it may not be in crypto, it may be in life, it may be everything. There's the camera. I don't know if you want to say one or two things to them. Um, and then uh, let's hit it. I think one thing uh, I could share is that set a goal because there's a lot of people that don't set goals. And I had a mentor tell me one time, like, how can you hit a target that you can't even see? So set a goal, whether it's, hey, I have a few hundred bucks. If I can just get it to $2,000, like that would be a massive accomplishment. And then come up with a strategy on how you're going to get there. Because if without a strategy, without a plan, my mentor used to say, if you don't have a plan, then you're planning to fail. So have a plan, have a strategy. And, and you know, the sniper school and, and, and just the crypto banter um, videos, those help with strategies. And that's that's what I, that's how I develop my strategy. And you said things like crypto face and you said things like uh, chart champions. You know, banter's there, guys, and we are family. But it's uh, ultimately like you've got so many sources. You've got like a whole internet out there to use them. But at the end of the day, it comes down to you. And that's why you got to take the nuggets and things like that. And uh, you got to make the decisions. So I like your journey consisted of a lot. Started with crypto face, started with this, started with that. Um, I'm glad that we just also helped to roll in those last little tweaks. And I think that's the big thing. And by having your journey success now, a part of it too, I think we can just find even more tweaks. Yeah. And there's a saying too, it's, it's the little things that make the biggest difference. Exactly. And, and I, I feel like that's what's happened here. So guys, how incredible how incredible changing lives like that's the ultimate goal right like let's keep going and let's keep working together now guys you heard many times uh within uh within the podcast that it's very simple to join sniper school and you're saying 250 dollars that has changed now it's 100 dollars, guys that you get to trade with there are three basic steps you click below the register button they send you an email you gotta open an exchange account using the sniper school link putting hundred dollars deposited you get to trade with that and then you put your user id and then you get uh, access to the whole course and all the live events and all the live sessions and the discord and everything guys share your stories below here like just let me know like either dm me on twitter or whatever like i'll make sure we go through it if you've made any success through the school through the channel through everything uh share it like it fuels us we like little kids right now and we're so happy that someone's like doing it and it's actually making a big difference so share your journey with us and uh let's hopefully change millions of people's lives much love smash a like smash the subscribe button and we'll see you all on the next podcast